everybody, how's it going? This is Trevin here, and this is going to be my quote-unquote first video that I'm going to be publishing on my YouTube channel. As my YouTube name states, um, this uh, I love video games. I like to play video games. I've been playing video games all my life. Um, so I'm going to start my first uh, project, I guess you could say, and as you can tell right now, I'm on the... Uh, PS2 interface, and I am going to play a really, uh, I, I guess you could say, underrated game. I, I don't, I've, ne I don't know anyone who's ever played this game. No, it's not PlayStation 2 disc. It was uh, made by Namco. Namco, I think that's what how you say it. Um, it was made in 2002, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, yep, for PlayStation 2. It's a really Really good game. I haven't really played it a while, but it's still one of my my close favorite games. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Uh, Pac-Man. Yes, this is uh, Pac-Man World 2. It's made in uh, 2002 by uh, Namco, the original creator of Pac-Man the Arcade Game, which was made in 1980 for the arcade and for the 1980 Atari, or for the Atari. Alright. And I'm gonna be quiet for this cutscene. Alright, now this is Pac-Man World 2. Um, so yeah, the, the cutscene basically explains it all, that uh, this uh, weird spirit was imprisoned under this tree by that golden fruit, and that the ghosts have hidden them, and we need to go find them. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, no Pac-Man, World 2 save data, great one, yes. Come on, it, sh it shouldn't take this long. Uh, there we go. New quest, yes. Thank you. Pac-Man, Pac-Man! Get a 
terrible, terrible news. Packland is in serious danger. The ghosts have unwittingly unleashed an ancient evil upon us by removing the golden fruit from the tree. According to this book, our ancestors fought against this very evil. In ancient times, the great wizard Pack created a powerful potion that turned five fruit from Packland into the golden fruit that was stolen today. Armed with these magical fruit and a great deal of bravery, Sir Packalot faced the all-powerful ghost known as Spooky. Sir Packalot defeated Spooky and imprisoned him. And he has remained there until now. Pac-Man, the golden fruit are in the hands of the devious ghosts, and Spooky is on the loose again. You must retrieve the golden fruit and defeat Spooky, or all of Packland will be doomed. Pack Village. All right. Pac-Man, welcome to Pack Village, the heart of Pac-Land. You have a long adventure ahead of you, but you can always return home for some diversion. The arcade is the building to the right. Sue is usually there taking care of things. S she can give you a tour of the arcade if you like. Now, on to more important matters. Here is a health wedge. Eat these to cure your health. You cannot pick them up if you are not hurt. Ah, Pack Dots. They're another way to gain health. Eat 50 to get one health wedge. This is a valuable extra life. Make sure to ch search these out and grab them. Here's a token. Collecting these will unlock games in the arcade. Talk to Sue in the arcade for more information. Finally, here is the exit for, from Pack Village. See that glowing pack dot over there? That is a power pellet. When you eat a power pellet, ghosts will turn blue and you can eat them. Ghosts will kill you instantly if you touch them when they are not blue. Good luck, Pac-Man. Alright, so let's basically into the basics of the controls. Um, basically, you just move around with the left analog stick, and you can move the camera with the right analog stick. You just, uh, uh to jump, you press X, and if you hit it in the air again, you'll do a butt bounce. Kind of interesting, because this game does not feature a double jump. So, uh, I'm not going to start the first world today. I'm just gonna uh, show you around Pack Village, because I'm already almost about 8 minutes in, so... Uh, here we get a token. These will, um... I'll show you what these do in a little bit. I'm just gonna go get... Um, here's some fruit. If you collect a certain amount of these in a level, you'll be able to get uh, kind of a point system. It's not really needed, but I just like doing it. Uh, let's see. Strawberry. Let's see, I think there's a token. Nope, strawberry. Oh. Cherries up here. And, uh, hold on, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit. Here's a sign, it'll just tell you health bar, and you can butt bounce on it to break it, which is kind of cool. Uh, another apple. Back dots. Here's a melon. Not really a lot of melons in levels. Another token. Let's see, another strawberry, another token. There are tokens everywhere. Like, it's just, it's really cool how there are so many tokens. And the one thing I really do not like about this game is that I think the, the camera is horrific because you can't, you can't see, like, anything with the camera. It's, it bugs me a lot. It's like, it's just, I think that they could have improved the camera, but... Oh, come on, there's a pack dot. Yep, there it is. I was looking for that pack dot. Um, let's see. Up oh, the heck? Oh, I got stuck in the flowers. Another melon. Strawberry. Cherry. I'm not going to get all these. I'm just going to show you the basic ones. Here's a dog, and it will try to kill you. Or bite you, so you just need to go stomp on it. Good token. And these are vines, so if you touch them, they will hurt you. And, uh, come on, I get over here. There we go. And did I already go over here? Yeah, I did. I just did a complete circle. So now I can go ahead and show you the, uh, the arcade.
Pac-Man, my name is Sue, and I am usually here running the arcade. You can play these games by collecting tokens found throughout pa Pac-Man. Let me tell you a little bit about each, each of the games in the arcade. Pac-Man was first released in the arcade in 1980. You will need 10 tokens to play the Pac-Man. Pac-Attack was first released for consoles in 1993. You need 30 tokens to play Pac-Attack. You can play different music selections from the game here. You will need 60 tokens to play the jukebox. Pac-Mania was first released in the arcade in 1988. You will need 100 tokens to play Pac-Mania. This Pac-Man was released in the arcade in 1981. You will need 180 pa uh, tokens to play Miss Pac-Man. Play the Pac-Man World 2 mazes here after you completed them in the game. However, I have already unlocked the first maze just for you. Have fun! Yeah, so basically, um, this will let you, um, this will tell you how many more tokens you need. I need 54 more. This will let you play music from different parts of the game. This is the original Pac-Man. This is Pac-Mania. I'm not sure what that is. Pac-Attack is basically Tetris. Uh, Pac-Man World 2 is basically a... Uh, hold on, I'll get to that in a sec. Miss Pac-Man, you should know what that is. Uh, yeah, actually, let's play it. Uh, Canyon Chaos. It's basically a, uh... Uh... Uh, like in a more updated version of uh, the original Pac-Man for the uh, arcade. Oh, and when it says down there, fruit target, it means you have to go back up to where you started, and there will be a fruit for you. And, uh, oh, oh, I missed it. Right next to it, too. I really like the music that goes on in the game. I really like it. Oh yeah, double, double, yeah! Alright, let's do it. I recommend using the control pad on the PS2, then use the analog stick. The analog stick isn't really good. You can if you want. I don't, I just like using the control pad. I think it's easier. Oh shoot! Shoot! Oh my gosh, that scared me. Oh, sandwiched. Dang it. Well, yeah, you have um, about three lives that you can use. I'm pretty sure three. So. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, man, I missed those. Oh, yeah, get some. Alright, I'll just, uh, just turn around here, and oh gosh, I, I missed that, wow, okay, let's go, oh, there's a couple more up here, so, and is that it? That's it, completed. That's nice. You don't get anything if you beat it. It's just a little arcade thing. That's pretty cool. And you unlock more of these. Uh, I'll talk about that more in the next video. But, uh, so yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. I don't think there's really anything else I can really say. But also, one really quick thing before I end the video off um, is that one control I did not get to talk about yet is that if you hold square, we do a speed dash, and I'm just gonna speed dash right out of here. Boom. So, and do I want to save? Yes, I do. Alright, so I guess at uh, 14 minutes, I think that'll be enough for this video. This is basically an introduction video. So, and this is the thing I was talking about how um, it's kind of like a uh, pointing system. You can't, oh, you can't get all the, uh, all that stuff yet. Like, uh, you're gonna have to, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to, I think you have to unbox certain stuff later in the game. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment and like if you enjoyed the video. Um, anyway, I guess that's all I have to say on the matter. So, uh, see you guys next video.